Today, we have a surprising tutorial for everyone who struggles with slow internet connections. In this video, I'll show you how to set up a fast server using the NetMod VPN app. And we'll also discuss how to find the right SNI for your server to get a high-speed internet connection. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. It really helps us grow. Now let's get started. First, we need to create a V2Ray server account. Open your device browser and search for custom UDP. From the search results, click on the official website link to access the homepage. On the homepage, tap the menu button where you'll see a list of different servers. Select V2Ray server and you'll be taken to the account creation page. Here, simply enter any username and password of your choice, complete the reCAPTCHA, and then click on the Create Now button. After a short countdown of a few seconds, your server will be successfully created. Copy the V2Ray server details to your clipboard. Next, open the NetMod VPN app, which you should have already downloaded. In the app, tap the three dots in the upper right corner to expand the menu list. Select Import from Clipboard, and your V2Ray server will automatically be imported. Once the server is imported, click the pencil icon to edit your settings. A new page will open, and here you can add your desired Validezas working SNI if available. To find a working SNI, go back to the custom UDP website. From the menu list, tap on Tools, and in the pop-up window, select Subdomain. A new page will appear where you can test potential SNIs. For example, type in whatsapp.com. In just a few seconds, subdomains will appear on your screen. If the result shows HTTP 200 and the server is under Cloudflare, that means it's a working SNI. Simply copy the IP address and paste it into the SNI field in your NetMod VPN app. After adding the SNI, click the Save button. Now, press the Play button to connect. Within seconds, you'll have a fast speed internet connection. You can also swipe right in the app to check your connection logs. And that's it. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.